Vermont's Canadian band Sum 41. The group burst onto the music scene in the mid-1990s, racking up millions in CD sales and a couple of Juno awards. Lead singer Derek Wibley's marriage and subsequent divorce from pop star Avril Lavigne brought even more media attention. But the performing and partying pushed Wibley into a spiral that left him close to death this year. Now he's sharing his story in the hopes of helping others. Deanna Sumanak has the details. On stage, his explosive energy made him a rock star when he was only 19. Hero. <laughs> Off stage, the party never stopped for some 41 frontman, Derek Wibley. I'm kind of one of those people that really, I, I push myself probably a little too hard uh, with work and with, you know, playtime as well. And, uh, you know, at, at some point, it just all catches up with you, I guess. Thank you for all the pain Whitley says he was having a bottle of vodka delivered daily to his home in Los Angeles. I always thought, you know, it's just alcohol. It's not like I'm doing heroin and stuff like that. I just thought, it's just alcohol. It's never get, it can't really harm me that much, but sure enough, it, it can. This April, Whitley's lifestyle caught up with him. He says he poured himself a drink at home and woke up in the hospital. He spent a month there, entangled in an IV drip, motionless, on the brink of death. They were just telling me my liver had failed and my kidneys had collapsed and uh, there's just all this other stuff going on inside of me that I had no idea about. Wibley has been recovering at his parents' home east of Toronto. You talk about the party. Were there drugs involved as well or was it just booze? No, it was, my thing was really just alcohol, and um, I was very functional when I was drinking. Um, I'm one of those kind of drinkers that can drink a half a bottle of Jack, and you would never know I've even had a single drink yet. And I, I'm the last one up, and everyone's stumbling, and I'm still just walking straight, and everything is cool. But, uh, so, but that was part of the problem, is that it never seemed like a problem. He came to believe alcohol fueled his creativity. You sort of justify your, your partying in alcohol at the time to say, well, if I wasn't drinking, I wouldn't have written this song. But, you know, it's kind of all bullshit, really. These days, the guy who once chronicled his hard partying on his blog is detailing his recovery. I just thought, you know, fans... Any fan of Sum 41, because we care about our fans so much, they just wanted to say, look, this can happen to you. Just be careful. I don't but he's aware his own fight is not over yet. You know, alcohol doesn't really enter my mind that much right now. Are you worried that it might be in the future? Or? No, I'm not worried, but I mean, at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen in the future. What's the point of never making mistakes? For now, Wibley's back to his first love, writing music, and has a new goal to do so without the help of alcohol. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Ajax, Ontario.